Hey guys, Ventral Reader here with my first video. <laughs> yeah, I'm completely new to this, but yeah, my videos are going to be about Gaslands and about building cars and tutorials and this sort of stuff. So I'm going to be also talking about where to source cars. you got Matchbox and Hot Wheels and all sorts of other companies. So basically I'm going to talk to you about how to build basic cars from your bits box up to maybe medium level, all the way up to, say, expert level where you're cutting into the metal, swapping car parts with other cars like say uh, fusing two different vehicles together but yeah it all starts in here in the uh, Gaslands rulebook so first of all let's start out by talking you know basic level stuff so basic level stuff is you don't even have to drill a car apart you can just paint it up like I did here with um, this car I'm using as a buggy I, I, yeah, it's a Hot Wheels car um, it's the audacious or whatever that is, or whatever it was. I just glued a couple of weapons on um, that I managed to get from the Auto Kill website. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And this one is the uh, one of my performance cars, and this is my Michigan team that I made, like the blue and white um, kind of paint scheme. This is just a machine gun from something off of Warhammer 40k. I think it was off of Torox. I managed to get it off of, and um, it made a perfect minigun for this sort of car. I, I like the way it looked fused with a couple of other pieces to get that kind of appeal. And then I decided to build a couple of like more death race themed cars, like I've got this uh, this punt, uh, this Judge, this uh, GTO, and I also built this um, this sort of truck thing for it also with a ram and a front mounted machine gun. So I'm going to basically give you guys a guide um, how to build really basic stuff to start off with and then more uh, like maybe medium level difficulty stuff and then at the end I'll do hard difficulty. But this video is just an introduction to my channel and what I'm going to be doing. This is a matchbox car. As I said, okay, there are pros and cons to different manufacturers. So. Hot Wheels are great, but all their vehicles are the same size, which can be a problem if you're looking for diversity. As you can see here, I built two teams, and I'll tell you why you want to build two teams. You want to build two teams so you can get a friend involved. So these are both very easy to do, very basic level, entry level teams. Um, I'll be teaching guys how to make these like over a series of let's build kind of videos. As you can see here, I've got my uh, blue team, which is the Michigan team, and the other team I was using to represent Team Slime. Now. The, the blue guys I got here are often my opponent's favorite. I always let them choose a team. But this is my personal team. This is my more advanced cars. I'm going to try and get the camera to focus here. Now, this is more advanced level stuff I would like to teach some of you guys how to do if you don't know how to do it already, um, such as where to get crew, where to get the correct size stowage, and things like that for other vehicles. Like this buggy here, I added a whole bunch of stowage to the top, and it really reminded me of uh, those buggies from the Road Warrior with all the extra bits and pieces on. Hold on, just try and adjust the camera here. But yeah, this is the kind of stuff I'd like to show you guys how to do. Um, not just that, this camera is horrendous. Sorry about that, folks. And um, yeah, other stuff like this, like you can see the uh, the Cougar there, my uh, other buggy with the dual V8s, and the dude on the top is all like, yeah! <laughs> Fists in the air, all that good stuff. So all my vehicles uh, have drivers and gunners um, in my main team, my my pirate team, I try to keep it as realistic as possible. So I'd like to show you different kinds of build styles. So you can see the guy in the gas mask in there, and then my other vehicle here, which you may have seen in the latest time extended for pirates and whatnot. This is uh, my Barracuda Trooper. So let's talk more about the more advanced level of customization. So this kind of customization, you're going to be custom building hood scoops. I'll teach you how to do that, how to build a hood scoop you want, where to source the right parts, how to bend uh, safety pins, in, and uh, paper clips into roll bars and other things like this, and um, how to make dudes with flamethrowers on the back of your vehicle like something out of Fury Road. And that's the inspiration for my pirate faction was Fury Road, obviously. It's it's very influential kind of movie, especially for things like Gaslands. So this is the kind of build um, I'd like to show you guys how to do, things like this in the more advanced later stages. This funnily enough, however, was fairly simple to do. I'll teach you guys how to lift a vehicle also. So this one's very basic. You just glue the axle straight on over the original axle, and I'll teach you guys how to do that in upcoming videos. This one, however, was a little bit more tricky. It's a combination of two different Hot Wheels cars all together, and I had to cut up two um, buggies for this. There's one which comes with two V8s, and there's another one that had a really awesome cab. So as you can see here, this is how I lifted this one. I used safety clips or paper clips at the bottom I just bent them into the right shape to hold the axle in place. As you can see there is a driver inside and um, 
Sorry about this, this is my first time using a camera, guys, so uh, go easy on me. But yeah, this this reminds me very much of something out of Fury Road, especially the cab at the back. Um, well, the, or the cabin, where the driver sits and where the gunner sits. Now, I'll teach you guys how to cut square holes in metal and that sort of stuff with, with the more advanced videos and how to make flags and banners and skull banners and all this sort of stuff. And I'll also be teaching you guys how to do things like this, which is the more, uh, the latter end of the really extreme sort of customization level. So as you can see, the, this is a vehicle has been heavily modified. I took an engine from another vehicle and put it in the back. I used the cardboard. No plastic card is used in any of these, by the way, guys. I want to help you build these kinds of vehicles with just the materials you have on hand. So this is just spare bits and all the stuff at the back there, apart from the chains and the wheel you see there, the wheel hub I use, is actually made from the cardboard from the box of the, um, the car itself, like the, the box that the car came in. You know, like the little, um, the thing that the clear plastic sticks to and you see the little car in there. And this is a Hot Wheels car. It's exactly the same as the one I've got here. It was a different paint job. Um, it's a Plymouth um, Barracuda. And it's basically the same as this. That You see the little white one on the screen there? That is the same as this one which I modified. And I'd like to teach you guys how to do this sort of stuff, say, if you want to. Um, I know a lot of you guys are more interested in just maybe painting up the car. You don't want to do anything too crazy. You want to get your team ready and out the door. I get it. But I'd like to do a video for everyone. So I'm going to be doing videos which are very basic level, get a team painted up and ready in a short space of time, to the more advanced stuff for those of you out there who want to really create um, a team that really pops and stands out. And maybe you just want to build your dream team like of cars and stuff. And that's, that's what I'd like to help you do. I'd like to help you achieve those goals. And um, that's my plan. Now... Basically, with this sort of level of customization, you're going to need to source parts from elsewhere, like the driver and the gunner there, and other things like that. But basic level stuff, just like the chassis you can get from anywhere, I mean, it's a Hot Wheels car. I'll also be discussing other brands other than Hot Wheels and Matchbox, which are really good, funnily enough, for a source of cars. Um, this is a lift project I've got in process and uh, in progress, and I decided to not do it off of camera. I decided to wait. I'm waiting for a tripod right now before I can start filming the build stuff. But I'd like to teach you guys how to lift a car like this um, to get it a higher stance off the ground. This is going to be a flamethrower car, and um, I'm going to be copying some of the Fury Road um, concept artwork for this Mustang. And um, yeah, no, it'll be interesting. So it'll be a step-by-step -step build. This would be the basic level of how to lift a car, that one. And then I'll do other videos on how to cut the metal safely and all this sort of stuff. And I'll always post what tools you need before I start, like, you know, taking it apart and things. So that basically covers that end of the spectrum. Um, what I'd like to also say is, when building cars like this, you really have to take, keep in mind that it's going to come down to patience. And it's also going to come down to sourcing vehicles. And I've, no, I've said that before, like... Hot Wheels and Matchbox, but there's a big difference between Hot Wheels and Matchbox and for one reason. Matchbox make more realistic scaled vehicles in my opinion because they actually come in all different shapes and, and I dropped the boxes, but they come in all different shapes and sizes. Whereas Hot Wheels, they all come in the same size. So a minibus will be the same size as a Mustang and that's just not right in my book. So if you're looking for accurate scales and stuff, I'll tell you where guys where to source different cars and different vehicles such as trucks and things like that all with the correct scale. So, that pretty much covers this introduction to my channel. I'm sorry this is so uh, brief, I guess, and, um, you know, that sort of thing. But I just want to show you guys what sort of stuff I'd like to be doing on this channel. I'm also going to be doing battle reports and all that sort of stuff later down the line. So, yeah, the main goal here on this channel is to help you guys build the cars that you would like to have. So, whether that be basic, entry-level stuff, all the way to the advanced and beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Ventral Raider. Expect a lot more to come, and I'll see you guys in the wasteland.